Good morning. They do it all for show. They set the world on fire. They let it burn slow. I was just cruising the streets. I was looking for something to eat. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Smelling like burning rubber. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Law Stevens. So shame. It makes the difference. All this talking you're saying, and ain't saying much. Good morning, attacking. Is it really dope? Right. We know they really don't. It's all a front for show. They do it all for show. They set the world on fire. They let it burn slow. They set the world on fire. They let it burn slow. That's right. Yeah. They let it burn slow. Yeah. They set the world on fire. They let it burn slow. Good morning. You put your right hand in and then you shake it all around. Right. Hey, that's what it's all about. Hey. Basic and practice on your greatness. Life don't work like that. Gotta be amazing. I've been down and out. I know what it takes to be on top right now. I know I'm your favorite. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know where we are. You know where we're at. I feel like I'm stuck in a cycle. Showtime, ladies and gentlemen. You know I gotta do over here. You know I gotta get in the zone. It's like a curse. Yeah, it is like a curse. It's like deja vu. It's me, Zeus. It's deja vu when I'm running up these racks. I'm like the Terminator screaming. I'll be back. When I'm out here flying first class It's like every week I gotta take out the trash I'm on top of my game, ahead of the class You can tell that I made it, look at my grass Cars in the garage with tanks full of gas I play the game so long, I won't finish last Sitting in my living room, screaming how we made it This is how it's supposed to happen when you're rich and famous The algorithm turns into a maniac I guess we going viral cause my Zodiac Man, Franklin is my best kid. And if they hit my ex at me, they left me. Let's go. They don't give me pops if they test me. I stand with my chest because I mean it. Got a lot of confidence and I'm conceited. Call me the master with a new whip. I'ma take off this spaceship. I'll tell you what, I haven't gone into Zeus's life in a couple of drugs this ticket. Yes. That shit was radical. Very it was it was horrible. I'm like, you've gone Zeus has gone way off the rails. It's like deja vu. It's like deja vu. It's like deja vu. It's like deja vu. It's deja vu when I'm running up these racks. I'm like the terminator screaming. Alright, alright, alright. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and kill the music. Alright, alright. Let's get straight into it. Alright. For those of you who do not know who I am, uh I let's I, I go by the name Zeus, or as some like to say, Triple H. Alright, and why do they call me Triple H, ladies and gentlemen? 
Well, it's quite simple uh, because I am the most honest person on social media. That's what the first H stands for, all right? The next H, ladies and gentlemen, stands for humble. I'm the most humble person on social media. Good morning, beautiful toy, all right? There's nobody more humble than me. Listen, if I get it wrong, I will be the first to apologize, all right? And then the last and final H, ladies and gentlemen, is because I am and will always remain the most handsome. All right. All right. And so for those of you who aren't familiar with what we do on this side of TikTok, uh, let's get straight into it. What we do is we hold our friends on the right, especially their leader, Donald J. Trump, accountable for their dirty, disgusting, filthy deeds, as well as their crimes. And believe you me. When it comes to the right, there's a lot of dirt going on. There's a lot of crimes going on. I mean, for instance, take a look at this picture. This picture uh, came across my 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 feed over the weekend. This is uh, the MAGA leader surrounding himself by a bunch of women that clearly aren't his wife, right? Is that what? Ungodly, engaging in ungodly conduct, right? I know, I know. Thank you, Superwoman. So, okay. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's let's let the show begin. All right, we'll come back to Donald Trump and his nasty behind in a minute. But you know, I always have to kick the show off with some good news. All right, so I want to make sure we all get this show started right. Let's see what good news do I want to talk about this lovely, lovely. Oh, I know the the Biden Harris record. All right, I think this is an important time in American history. All right, where we really do need to give credit where it's due. All right, and so I understand that a lot of people are falling in love with the poll numbers. Right, you you hear these Trump supporters out here? They're they're they're, they're bragging and they're they're gloating and they're in a state of denial. I think because while on one side they're aware. Uh, they're looking at the poll numbers and somehow celebrating that that might be a good sign for MAGA. Here's the deal. Uh, we're a year out and a lot of things can happen. Thank you, Garveen, for the subscription. All right. Go ahead. Give Garveen a round of applause. We're a year out. And, you know, if you follow any kind of sports or anything like that, you know, even in the fourth quarter, it might look like your team is down. And then somehow things happen that turned it to a situation where your team wins. So that's how I feel about the Democrat Party. And so I want to make sure I, I touch on uh, some of the accomplishments President Biden and Kamala Harris have accomplished. All right. Uh, since they began, since they're since during their tenure, as to say, in office. All right. So let's start, uh, ladies and gentlemen, with uh, addressing some of the accomplishments that President Biden and Kamala Harris have accomplished and, and my goal here is to educate and inform people, all right? And, and I do this because I understand there's going to be a lot of folks out there that are going to reject the truth like they did when I went into that nasty live this weekend. I was in, I was in a nasty live this weekend, and you should have seen I had all these Trump supporters on the ropes. I mean, every fact they tried to say was a lie. I ended up being able to provide an overwhelming amount of evidence. Me and my good friend z -Pac, even Mr. Jones came in there. And by the end of it, they said, Zeus, you're overwhelming me so, so much. They decided to mute me. And then they blocked me, ladies and gentlemen. They blocked me. Yeah, so much for that. So, so much for that freedom of speech nonsense they love to cry and complain about. All right, so listen up, MAGA. Uh, because you guys are still acting childish on social media and you're still being a bunch of liars and hypocrites, I'm going to give you a heads up. Uh, the next part, the, the rest of this show is going to be overwhelmingly uncomfortable for all of you Trump supporters. The gloves are completely off, and, and, and I'm going to be delivering an overwhelming amount of truth and information that's designed to make sure if you're hungry, you lose your appetite. All right. If if you thought you were happy, you'll be sad. All right. If you were feeling great, you'll feel depressed because all this information that I'm about to bring out is going to make you feel very uncomfortable. All right. So listen up. If you don't want to feel that way, I'm going to give you an opportunity of a lifetime. Now is your chance to pack your bags and exit stage left. All right. But get this. You don't got to take my word for it. Listen to your leader. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country... If you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy, 
in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You right. can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, leave. Bingo. All right. Don't let the good, don't let the door hit you where the good Lord should have split you. <laughs> All right, so once again, ladies and gentlemen, I sit here right on the sacred th throne out here in the middle of Mount Olympus to talk about something that I believe is very impressive, all right? And this is the transformative leadership of President Joe Biden and his Vice President Kamala Harris. Their tenure has been marked by a dedication to unify the country, advance equity, and reinstating America's position as a beacon of hope and progress in the country and actually throughout the world. When President Biden and Vice President Harris took office, they were faced with an unprecedented array of challenges. Yet they met each of these trials with steadfast commitment to the American people. They brought with them a promise of empathy, transparency, and an un and an unwavering commitment to the democratic framework that has been the bedrock of this nation. The pandemic, how many of you remember the pandemic? It seems like it was a long time ago, but it really wasn't. The pandemic threatened to fracture the very fabric of our society. However, under their leadership, America responded with resilience, unity. They marshaled the resources of the federal government to accelerate the vaccine distribution, ensuring that every American who wished to be vaccinated had access to the vaccine. The swift implementation of the American Rescue Plan, all right, put money directly in the pockets of Americans, bolstered small businesses, and provided vital funds to cities and states, and it actually and it actually cut American poverty in half as well. These actions played a crucial role in reviving the American economy, right, reducing unemployment, and laying the groundwork for a robust recovery, right? The economy is actually doing a lot better than a lot of these folks want to give President Biden and Kamala Harris credit for. All right. Furthermore, the Biden-Harris administration has shown a distinct commitment to addressing systemic inequalities that have long plagued our society. The passage of the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act marked a pivotal step towards police reform and justice. They've prioritized affordable housing, education, and health care, understanding that a strong, prosperous America is built on the well-being of every single citizen. On the international stage, President Biden and Kamala Harris have worked tirelessly to restore America's standing. They re-engaged with our allies, reaffirmed our commitment to NATO, right? Rejoined the Paris Climate Agreement and took decisive steps to counter threats to our democracy. They have shown the world that America is not just back, but back with a renewed commitment to democratic values, international cooperation, and the rule of law. The climate crisis is another pressing challenge of our time, has also been met with urgency and commitment. The Biden-Harris administration has acknowledged the magnitude of this existential threat and has taken substantial steps towards addressing it. Their ambitious measures to transition towards clean energy and invest in green infrastructure signals a new era for American innovation and resilience. In education, the administration has made significant strides to ensure that every child, listen up to this, especially to you fake Christians that love to talk about how you're helping kids, the Biden and Harris administration has taken significant strides to ensure that every child, regardless of their zip code, has access to quality education. The increase in funding for public schools, the expansion of free community college, and the support for historically black colleges and universities are testament to their commitment to education as a fundamental right. President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, through their leadership, have demonstrated that the true strength of America lies in its people, in its diversity, and its commitment to justice and equality. They have reminded us that our democracy is an ongoing project that we must participate in, in a privilege that we should never take for granted. While challenges still lie ahead, there is no doubt that under their stewardship, America has made significant strides towards healing, 
unity and progress. President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris's leadership has truly, if you ask me, rescued America. Let me say that again. Both Vice President Kamala Harris and the president, all right, have truly rescued America. All right. Renewing our faith in the possibilities of what we can achieve when we stand together. So, ladies and gentlemen, all right, America is and will continue to be a beacon of hope, resilience, and progress under the leadership of President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. All right, so join me before we kick this show off in giving both President Biden and Kamala Harris a round of applause. <laughs> did all a great job that was a big round of applause all right and this is why uh, i'm very confident that they will get reelected. all right and i and there's signs that they're gonna win you can already tell just by donald trump's rhetoric you know he's playing dirty he's he's, he's cheating you know in sports right people cheat when they're losing if you look at donald trump right now you can tell he's losing on so many fronts he's getting so desperate ladies and gentlemen donald trump is getting so desperate <laughs> i shouldn't be laughing I shouldn't be laughing, but he's getting so desperate, he's quoting Hitler, right? <laughs> he's quoting Hitler now. Wow. And, 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 it, and it's not, it's even worse. His supporters, you know what they do when he's quoting, quoting that guy? They do this. <laughs> You know, like I said, uh, you Trump supporters, you all, you all deserve everything that's coming your way. I was in a discussion with one of those MAGA demons over the weekend, and I said, every single thing you folks, you Trump supporters, that you lied on like Hillary Clinton about, everything you lied on Obama about, everything you've been lying on the Democrats about, is coming home and affecting you on a personal level. I have no mercy for all of you Trump supporters who are currently suffering, all right, because it's something you've brought on yourself. I've been trying to tell you for years, stop it. There's universal laws at play right now, all right? You dig a ditch for your enemy, you're going to be in it. And they don't believe me. They don't believe the good book when the good book says uh, evil tree can't bring forth good fruit. They don't believe it. So guess what? Now now Donald Trump is charging his supporters and sending them to hell himself while he himself is on his way. You know, they say they're on a Trump train. Well, guess where that Trump train is going? It ain't going back to the White House. <laughs> it's going to hell. And you're on it. So I don't care. Now, if you don't like what I'm saying, like I said earlier, I see you triggered in the comment section. If you don't like what I'm saying. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Yeah. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. You hear that, MAGA? That's your leader telling you to go to any country you want to go. You can go to North Korea, all right, with Kim Jong-un. Or you can go have some chocolate cake with President Xi, all right? Because I hear he loves some chocolate cake. Or better yet, you could take your, your boots, leave the American boots here, all right? Take Leave all the American stuff here. And just take your, your soul, your soul to Russia with your Lord and Savior, Vladimir Putin. I hear he needs more soldiers to help him fight the United States. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You Trump supporters, I tell you. You make it so easy. All right, now let's move on and get started with today's topics. Obviously, uh, you know, earlier I showed you all this photo, right? Uh, this is Donald Trump, the supposed Christian, the supposed family man, the man of family values, surrounding himself uh, as though he's a bachelor, as, as though he's somehow a single man. And this is the guy you want to be president. And you know what? They had, you know, a fight at the UFC over the weekend. And by the way, that fight was hilarious because it was another L for MAGA, all right? It was a, it was another L. The guy that 
fought, he lost, and then he had the the nerve to blame hit uh the fact that he's a Trump supporter on why he lost. I mean, you know MAGA just really doesn't understand how this works, all right? But while Donald Trump did go and try to support his MAGA demon, there was this moment, ladies and gentlemen, all right? Now, this this was him. That's the you see that in his eyes now. You might think that he's, you know, looking at the fighters, but that's not what Donald Trump is looking at. He has the spirit of lust in his eyes, ladies and gentlemen, lusting after another person or, or a woman. Here he goes right there. Look at him right there, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this so-called American father, this so-called patriot. We got him caught right here, this fake Christian. And all of you so-called Christians out there that continue to support this man in the middle of all this sin, disgust me. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know what we got to do? Get those, please get those tomatoes together and get those booze and shame this morning. All right, get those booze and shame together, all right? Join me in giving this hypocrite, liar, seditionist, treasonous, adulterous, lusting maniac Donald Trump the first round of booze and shame. <laughs> Get him out of here. No wonder Melania doesn't want to be seen in public with this monster. No wonder she's renegotiating her prenup. Listen up, all you MAGA women. Follow suit. You better follow what Melania is doing. If you're married right now, listen up, all you MAGA women. If you're married right now to a MAGA man, clickbait's wife. I don't know if you're there, but clickbait's wife. Or as we don't call him clickbait anymore. We call him clickbait. He asked us in a live. I went into a live the other day with my good friend Ange. Clickbait came in there. You all know who he is. He's he's the one that brands himself as Ultimate MAGA. Uh, uh, well, we call him clickbait now because he says, don't call me clickbait. Call me clickbait. All right. These guys are losing it. All right, so listen up, Mrs. Clickbabe. If you're out there, go ahead and follow, uh, and get a prenup, all right? Because it's about to be over. It's going to be raining like you've never seen rain in your life. Trust me. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> clickbait or clickbait. Bye-bye. All right, you, there's not enough money you can send Donald Trump to stop this from coming, all right? All right, now let's move on to my next topic. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. You see, ladies and gentlemen, you see they got me working real hard on a Monday morning. I, di I didn't want to work this hard, to be quite honest. All right, but I'm going to because you know what? Somebody got to get out here and tell the truth and shame the devil. All right, now let's bring up our, our next topic, ladies and gentlemen. All right, yep, yep. You know what I say. We always going to hold our friends on the right accountable. Clarence Thomas could deal a blow to Donald Trump's Supreme Court hopes. Uh-oh. More bad news for your Trump supporters. <clears throat> Should the Supreme Court decide to listen to special counsel, who, who, what's his name, what's his name? Jack Smith. <laughs> All right. Should the Supreme Court decide to listen to special counsel, Jack Smith, request to hear arguments on Donald Trump's contention that he is protected by presidential immunity in a bid to get many of his criminal indictments tossed out, Justice Clarence Thomas may play a key part, but possibly not in a way the former president would... <laughs> Not in a way the former president would prefer. According to former U.S. attorney Joyce Vance in her week ahead newsletter, there is a very legitimate poss possibility that the far right jurist may recuse himself based on recent history in a similar case. Wow, that in turn could be a major setback for Trump that would have a five to three conservative majority making a ruling. All right. Uh, Justice Clarence Thomas will participate when the Supreme Court hears the appeal and all the more important, adding that Thomas has yet to announce whether he will participate in what could be a landmark case. But Vance then noted that Thomas close ties to the January 6th insurrection via his wife, Jeannie, remember Jeannie Thomas, who was an avid supporter of contesting the 2020 presidential election results and was in constant contact with Trump's White House Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows. All right. In addition to the well-known support for his wife, Jeannie, lent to pushing the big lie. 
Thomas former law clerk John Eastman is a Trump co-defendant in Georgia and an unindicted co-conspirator in this case. Vance wrote before suggesting, leaving aside the situation with his wife, which could be sufficient to cause any reasonable, prudent jurist to sit this case out, Justice Thomas recently recused himself in another matter involving John Eastman. The relationship was too close even for Clarence Thomas to ignore. Mm -mm -mm. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what we got to do? Get those boos, get those shames together, please. You all know this. You know how we do. Please get those boos and shame together, all right? And the tomatoes, all right, for Clarence Thomas, all right? Uh, because once again, we've caught him being compromised by Donald Trump and the MAGA demon by virtue of his wife, Jeannie Thomas. And now he just might have to sit this case out that might help his good friend Donald Trump because everyone knows he's too close and too corrupt. Let's give him some booze and shame. <laughs> like I said, I'm not I'm not losing any sleep over you Trump supporters. It, it gives me great joy to wake up every morning and tell the truth like this and shame the devil, or as I like to say, shame MAGA, because you're all a bunch of liars, seditionists, treasonous hypocrites. I went into that live with one thing in mind. Will I be able to get these liars to, to actually take ownership for the, for the stuff that they've done to this country? Boom, I go into the box. Yeah, 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 I hear all that silly stuff you're saying. When are y'all all gonna start becoming adults and own January 6th? That's what I hit them with first. Own January 6th. Oh, I'll own it. I'll own it. Oh, you will? You will? So you're gonna sit here in front of all your friends on TikTok today and say you and your friends were responsible and it wasn't BLM, Antifa, or the FBI? Uh, uh, well, Zeus, you can't say they weren't there. You always wanna bring up January 6th. You're darn right I'm gonna bring it up. <laughs> You don't want to talk about the economy. The economy is doing a lot better. Stock market's going through the roof. Folks got money in their pockets. I say, so wait a second. All of you, some, all you Trump supporters, you know, because they're saying the economy is, st is struggling, right? So all of y'all are struggling right now. This is what I said. So all of y'all are struggling right now, huh? Because you know what I was going to say next, right? Well, you need to get your behinds off TikTok and get to work. Why are you on TikTok crying about it? Get to work. Well, Zeus. I still can go buy food. It's just a little more expensive. Oh, okay. So another lie I caught him in. Oh, you want to talk about immigration? Oh, okay. Well, listen up. It's been proven that uh, migrants are 50% less likely to commit violent crimes than fo those folks who are here in the United States like your neighbor. What do you got to say about that? See, there you go, Zeus, with your Democrat talking points. Get him out of here. That's when they blocked me and kicked me out of the live. <laughs> And you know what I say? Every time you MAGA demons kick me out of your lives, I consider it a great badge of courage. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me go on to my next topic. I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to open up the boxes real soon. I might not get through all my topics, but I got to make sure uh, we open up those boxes and hear from those of you who are, who are brave enough to get in the box and tell the truth. All right. <laughs> All right, this is a new thing that just came out. You know, these Trump supporters, they like to talk about President Biden. Is it running the country? You know, he has dementia. They, but then on the other side, they say he's committing all kinds of crimes. They can't make their minds up with the lies, right? So listen up, ladies and gentlemen. I got something to bring up. On Saturday morning, during a campaign speech in Durham, New Hampshire, Donald Trump invoked Vladimir Putin. This is what he did. He invoked Vladimir Putin out of all people that... This is proof he's he's being persecuted. He says, quote, Putin says that Biden and this is a quote, politically motivated persecutions of his political rival is very good for Russia because it shows the rottenness of the American political system, which cannot pretend to teach others about democracy. All right. Some commenters see this and other Trump assertions about being persecuted as calculated efforts to fuel his base. Right. But what if Trump really thinks he's being persecuted? What if he has a persecution complex? This is what they're saying. What if he believes his paranoid fantasies? Trump is not facing nearly the same scrutiny for his age as Joe Biden. Yet he should be, especially as to increasing signs of dementia. 
Biden is saying he's getting major bills passed. He's negotiating with world leaders. But Trump, who has a family history of dementia, is increasingly incoherent and unhinged. He has confused Biden with Obama so often that he's had to put out a statement that the slips have been intentional. Now he's saying they're intentional. In September, Trump suggested that the way to prevent wildfires in California forest land is to keep them damp. You know, put some water on them. <laughs> Here's the exact words. They say there's so much water up north that I want to have the overflow areas go into your forest and dampen your forest because if you dampen your forest, you're not going to see you're not going to have these forest fires that are burning at levels that nobody's ever seen. Hello? <laughs> wow. He also said that under his administration, shoplifters would be subject to extrajudicial unaliving. This is who we... We will immediately stop all the pillaging and theft. Very simply, if you rob a store, you can fully expect to be unalived as you are leaving that store. In October, Trump warned his supporters that Biden would lead America into World War II. Right. He said Biden's going to lead us into World War Two. He has also claimed that Hezbollah, the Iranian backed militia group, is, quote, very, very smart. All right. And listen, ladies and gentlemen, the list goes on and on. But I got to do this in the best interest of time. All right. Uh, join me in giving Donald Trump another round of booze and shame. Right. <clears throat> because on one hand, he likes to try to say that President Biden has lost his mind and has dementia. But. We can see it already playing out in Donald Trump's rhetoric that he's clearly losing his mind. Ain't no way this man can handle the pressure of 91 felony charges and try to be president of the United States all over again. It doesn't work like that, champ. The 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 <clears throat> the, uh, the ceiling is cracking. All right, the wall, the writing is on the wall. Join me in giving Donald Trump another round of booze and shame. Oh! He's a loser. I see we got some dissension in the comment section still. There's still some folks out there in the audience triggered. Like I said earlier, I gave you a heads up. I told you it was going to be an uncomfortable situation in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and your friends, it can't, can't be no seven on one over here. It's just me. Me and the truth, all right? And like I said earlier. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, <laughs> if you hate our country... If you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy yeah. in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, <laughs> very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Bye, MAGA. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Is anybody out there forcing Donald Trump and his supporters to stay here in the United States by a show of hands? Anybody out there? Is there anyone out there forcing MAGA to stay here? Anyone out there? Because... Because because uh, I'm not. I love you too. All right. Listen. Any anybody out there? No one. No. Nope, look at that MAGA. Nobody wants you here. Think about that. You're trying to fight to save a country where no one that, that's in the country wants you. You should take your talents to another country. Like I said, go to Russia with that nonsense. All right. All right. Because you can you can get all and more if you just go over there and worship Vladimir Putin. But we here in the United States, we don't want you. We don't want you. You're no good to us. Other than possibly being prisoners. <laughs> All right. Hillary Clinton burns Donald Trump's Putin praise with one word. Right. We just heard Donald Trump, you know, praising Putin. And, you know, you know what Hillary Clinton had to say about that? She says uh, one word. Puppet. Puppet. Hillary Clinton, ladies and gentlemen. Hillary's always been right about Donald Trump. Right. She's been right. All right. So. Let's go ahead and give Donald Trump another a round of booze and shame. And thank you, Hillary. Let's give Hillary Clinton first a round of applause, right? Because Donald Trump is a puppet, right? <laughs> Let's give Hillary a round of applause. He is a puppet, Hillary. I completely agree. And his supporters are even worse, all right? They're, 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 they're the puppet of the puppeters, right? <laughs> all right. And then join me in giving Donald Trump and his supporters another round of booze and shame because once again, we've caught them right playing right into the hands of Vladimir Putin. Let's give him some booze and shame. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, let me see. We don't got much.
much time. Oh, okay. Speaking of, but you know what? This is something that I've been meaning to cover, all right? This is something that I have been meaning to cover. I'm so sorry. All right, hold on. This is something I have been truly meaning to cover. It's been out for a couple of days, but I haven't touched on it, right? Uh, let's see. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Mis missing Russia binder could have been shared with a foreign adversary. Mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is some alarming news. All right. A missing binder full of highly classified intelligence about Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election could have ended up being shared directly with Vladimir Putin. All right. But even if not, this is what the CIA, the former CIA director said, even if not, he warned that there are other nefarious uses former President Donald Trump could have had for it. Quote, right now, I have to imagine the protocol must be an assumption by the part of the intelligence community that the binder has fallen into. There must be some damage assessment they've already done and something they're doing to figure out to what to deal with the possible repercussions of that being in the wrong hands. All right. Well, I don't know whether or not the intelligence committee knows what was in the document, what was in that document and the binder. This is what Brennan said. That's the difficult part about doing a damage assessment. You don't know what's there. There's a couple of concerns, he continued. You know, might it have been shared with a foreign adversary? Again, if there is very strange, again, given the very strange relationship between Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin, or was it just going to be used in order to try to discredit individual rivals, domestic political rivals? Because what they could do they could redact the documents in such a way to provide a very misleading impression of what the documents really do say. <clears throat> such a move would fit the pattern of the end stage Trump administration, Brennan added. This is the type of thing that Donald Trump, all right, did. He released documents that were heavily redacted and provided a very misleading impression about what those documents actually contain. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why I mean when I call Donald Trump a seditionist, treasonous traitor. <clears throat> Join me in giving this seditionist, treasonous traitor, former President Donald Trump, another round of booze and shame. Because once again, he's playing right into the hands of Russia. And give his supporters some too. Let's give it to him, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Trump supporters, you really think this guy deserves a second chance? Listen to all this information I'm sharing with you. This isn't misinformation. This isn't propaganda. This is the reality of millions and millions of Americans, all right? And since you love yourself some poll numbers, you know, I, there was a poll I took, all right? There was a poll, ladies and gentlemen, and this was the poll. Should, should Trump be allowed to uh, run for office? How many of you think Donald Trump should be allowed to run for office out there? Right? How many of you think he should be? No? Right, right, right. Look at the results. Look at the results, ladies and gentlemen. Right? I took the poll. And look at that. An overwhelming amount of Americans are saying absolutely not. <laughs> you got to believe me, right? You've been bragging about polls. So listen, I brought a poll to the... I brought a poll out and look at the results. No! Heck no. So you all can get on your platforms and put on your, your red hats and cry all you want about President Biden. But I guarantee you, you know, those rallies. And by the way, I want to talk about those rallies. Right. All right. I'm going to bring up something about those rallies. All right. Uh, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this, one last thing. All right. Hold on. I'm going to say something about those rallies. There's a difference, ladies and gentlemen between what I call a concert, all right, and uh, and a rally, all right? A, a, a concert is where people go to get entertained, right? And so you Trump supporters, you're confusing entertainment with voting, all right? I will, I will, I agree with you. 
Donald Trump is definitely holding a lot more entertaining rallies than President Biden. I agree with you, but I got some bad news for you. Where's bad views at? Bad views, I got some bad news. People don't go to vote to be entertained. They go there because there's really life or death situations going on when they cast their vote. So you, 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 you're being played. The entertainment that Donald Trump is putting on is simply his way to get your money. That's it. That's it. So keep on going to his rallies. <laughs> keep on counting the number of people at him. Remember Herman Cain? Remember Herman Cain? He lost his life because he wanted to be entertained. See, see, there's universal laws at play here, all right? And you dance with the devil, you might have, the devil just might step on your feet a little bit, and that's it, all right? So I just wanted to point that out. Y'all keep being entertained by Donald Trump, all right? And you know it's entertainment because, like I said, he, he, he wakes up every morning, he puts a bird nest on his head, right? He paints himself orange, and he puts on some diapers, right? <laughs> and he goes out here and, 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 and continues to orchestrate the same circus act that he's been orchestrating his entire life. But if you pay attention to the what's going on, right, he's being sued left and right. Where's Trump University at, right? Where What, what happened with the E. Jean Carroll case? Oh, my God. What about this New York fraud case? 91 felony charges. Oh, my God. And guess who's paying for it, MAGA? You. <laughs> I sleep so good at night knowing folks like, you know, there's a, we have a Russian bear that comes to our life. What's her name? Uh, Jay Bear. She goes by the name uh, Jay Bear, right? Hold on. Hold on. You call the bear. You call the bear. You're going to get the bear. Yeah. I got to sleep at night knowing that these Russian bears that, you know, that these Russian bears that, you know, brand themselves as patriots or, or Christians, I, I go to sleep well at night knowing they're sending Donald Trump all their money. <laughs> And and I and I still know that Jack Smith, Fonnie Willis, Letitia James, Alvin Bragg, all right, all right, are still on the hunt for Donald Trump's behind, all right. And and, and I know his supporters are going to prison left and right every day. I I, I sleep well at night. America's doing great, if you ask me. <laughs> all right, now we got to open up these boxes. But before I do, I'm going to touch on one more topic, uh, and then you know cover the topic of the day. Right? I mean, one of my favorite topics. All right. And this is what I call. Just a heads up. Doomsday option. Diplomats warn governments to prepare for the worst if Donald Trump returns. Diplomats of at least two foreign countries have told their governments to prepare for a doomsday option following intel that they have received about Trump's plans if he returns to the White House. Uh-huh. At least one of those diplomats spoke to reporters on the condition of anonymity represented a northern European nation that's a member of NATO. Quote, you have to explain to your capital, things might go rather well. The United States keeps rehabilitating herself if Biden is reelected. Then you have Trump, a mild version, a repetition of his first term with some aggressive overtones. And then you have the doomsday option. The diplomat told reporters they have kept in touch with Trump aides after he left the presidency and what they're hearing has them terrified. Mm. The story... From there was, we were not prepared to govern, and next time, it has to be different, the diplomat said. When they got into the Oval Office in 2017, they didn't have any idea of what the hell to do with it. But this won't happen again, all right? Reporters spoke to nearly 20 foreign, current, and former aides and diplomats, the report said. Those officials said during a second-term presidency a second Trump presidency, they expect to see key positions in the Pentagon, State Department, and CIA filled with loyalists who put Trump's interests first. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ladies and gentlemen, this is another opportunity for us to do what we've been doing all morning. Join me in giving Donald Trump and his supporters another round of booze and shame, and this time throw the tomatoes extra hard. Because look at this. Even our allies are concerned about just how dangerous Donald Trump is. And while they're showing their concern, his supporters continue to cheer on for Russia and Donald Trump and North Korea and China. Let's give them some booze and shame, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh,
right, all right, my last and final topic, and then we're opening up the boxes, all right, to hear from those of you who are brave and uh, to get in the box and tell the truth. Many of you know uh, this is one of the hardest topics for me to do because there's so much emotion in it, all right? I get really emotional when I do this, but I got to do it, all right? So please bear with me. All right, a Michigan man has been sentenced to 51 months for his role in the January 6th riot. I didn't say I didn't say peaceful protest. I said riot. If it was up to me, I would say what it would it, what it really is, an insurrection, treason. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. You really should be. <laughs> A 64-year-old, he's 64 years dumb, Michigan man has been sentenced to 51 months in prison for his role in the January 6, 2021 insurrection at the United States Capitol by supporters of former President Donald Trump. Matthew Kroll pled guilty to one felony count of assaulting, resisting, or impeding certain officers using a dangerous weapon in the United States District of Columbia, the Justice Department announced on Friday. According to prosecutors, Kroll of Linden, Michigan, stole an officer's baton during the riot and struck at least three police officers with it. One of the officers who Kroll struck was seriously injured in his right hand. The DOJ alleged that Kroll is the self-professed executive officer of the Genesee County, Michigan, volunteer militia and associate of the Wolverine Watchmen, an extremist group whose members were convicted in the plot to kidnap Michigan, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Kroll apologized for his actions in court Friday, saying that he was, quote, terribly sorry all right, <clears throat> quote, for everyone's sake, I wish I could go back and change that day, Kroll told the court. According to the Justice Department, more than 1,230 people have been charged in connection with the January 6, 2021 riot. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving this traitor what he deserves. Get the tomatoes out, please. Join me in giving this traitor what he deserves. Some booze and some shame. <laughs> All right, and because he got, uh, because he's being sentenced and he's, you know, being held accountable, Let's send this seditionist traitor, traitor off the old-fashioned way. I'd like to begin by addressing the heinous attack on the United States Capitol. Like all Americans, I am outraged by the violence, lawlessness, and mayhem. I immediately deployed the National Guard and federal law enforcement to secure the building and expel the intruders. America is and must always be a nation of law and order. The demonstrators who infiltrated the Capitol have defiled the seat of American democracy. To those who engage in the acts of violence and destruction, you do not represent our country. And to those who broke the law, you will pay. You heard your leader right there. After he played you like a fiddle, got you to the Capitol, he said he was going to go there with you. All right? And he sent your dumb behinds to the Capitol only to go on record and condemn you and tell you, you do not represent this country with your heinous acts of violence. 
All right. He told you to go home. Then he also said, you will pay. So goodbye, MAGA. May you enjoy jail. All right. And like I said, and I've been saying, and if you don't get your soul right, may you enjoy hell. I don't care. I will continue to sleep well. <laughs> and that's a rhyme for your behind, right? <laughs> Let's open up these boxes, ladies and gentlemen, and hear from those of you who are brave enough to get in the box and tell the truth, all right? You know what it is over here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you, I only want to hear from those folks who want to be honest and truthful. If you, if you are uh, MAGA, the only thing I want to hear from you, honestly, is uh, I'm sorry, all right? And, and you do owe America an apology, Trump supporters, and you know exactly why, all right? Look at all the abuse you've caused this country. Look at all the, look at all the, Things you've done that cost us our bottom line. And don't you cry about how President Biden is spending those tax dollars. Because you have no say-so. You're seditionist, treasonous traitors. You're throwing your rights away to vote anyway by going to prison for Donald Trump. So no, I don't want to hear from you. You know what you need to do in this broadcast? You need to sit your special behinds down and listen to this special broadcast. I was in that live. This dude actually had the audacity. I think his name was, was his name Trouble? And whenever you name yourself something bad, that's a bad sign already. If you name yourself something bad off top, <laughs> you've already lost in my opinion. He told me he had an eighth grade education. Well, what the heck are you doing on TikTok? See, there you go again. Trouble wasting your time. You need to go get your GED, champ, because the information that's being shared and disclosed is above your, it's way above your head. You can't keep up with what I'm saying. You read stuff and, and you know, this is what I say. They suffer from what I call a fallacy of inverse reasoning, meaning they see things, but not as they are. They see it in the exact opposite way. So a lot of this is happening because of a lack of understanding. So listen up, trouble. I'm, I'm your big brother and I'm telling you this. Take your behind back to college. Well, first go to finish your GED. And this is not just for him, but all you Trump supporters. Go ahead and get your GED. There's nothing wrong. That's something you should be proud to uh, brag about achieving. All right. And then after that, go on a little further and, you know, try to get your maybe your associate's degree or maybe your bachelor's so you can be, you know, a little more knowledgeable about what's going on in the world. All right. Because the good book says my people perish for a lack of knowledge. And if you look at what's going on, MAGA. You're on your way down. The ship is sinking, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Morning. Our first panel is Superwoman. How are you doing this lovely Monday morning? Good morning, Zeus. Good How morning. are you? How Good. are you? Um, I'm doing great, actually, in spite of. Um, and I wanted to come up this morning, as usual, to share some information with the kingdom. Fair enough. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. It's always a pleasure to have you visiting the kingdom and sharing the good news. All right. Thank you so much. Good brother. All right. So I looked into this because we can indirectly support Donald Trump kingdom. Oh, oh. how? Um, so if we are shopping and eating and, um, you know, uh, entertaining right or uh just indirectly supporting in that way people who actually support trump mm. then you know he's still getting the money for example versace oh versace is a huge donor to donald what? trump what? absolutely we know about okay. home depot okay yeah. some of us know about home depot if you didn't now you do mm -hmm. u-haul mm. Um, an owner in U-Haul, E. Joe Schoen. Oh, my. So is, these are companies that are donating to Donald Trump's campaign, is what you're saying. Yes. Guess huh? what, Zeus? What's Guess that? who else gave him a lot of money? Please don't say it. I know Home Ashley Depot. Furniture. Ashley Furniture? Ashley Furniture gave him almost a million dollars, $839 thousand dollars oh my gosh we need a list of all of these companies that are backing this nasty person don't we i got another one. Oh, oh who else we got put them on the wall jimmy johns what? 
the owner of a huge chain of Jimmy John's in that, in that sandwich chain gave him two hundred and twelve thousand dollars. But let me run through this. Bass wow. Pro gave him two hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Peter Thiel gave him two hundred and fifty thousand dollars with Facebook. Wow. Okay. Christy Alley. Wow. Christy Alley is somebody wow. that I was a huge fan of. I'm not supporting her. I'm not going to watch anything that any of them do. Nope. I'm not walking in any of these stores. Marvel Comics owned wow. Malone with cable TV. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh. Wow. A chain of Penske's. Mm. Wow. These people are giving him a lot wow. Wow. of money. And a, um, so I just wanted to share that. I think that's important. And, you know, so we can indirectly support Donald Trump. And I just want to make sure people know where they put their money. If, um, you know, you're not paying attention to these kind of things, you are also investing in your own demise. Bingo. Um, and point. then, you know, the black woman that I want to talk about today is Marie uh, Van Britten. Mm. If you have protection in your home, if you have home security cameras, you know, if you are protected via video at home, give that credit to Marie Van Britten. Because, because why? Let's explain it to these folks out here who ain't following what you just did, all right? Please explain it to them, Superwoman. Well, she... Um, as a result of her contribution to um you know technology they were able to invent these tools oh, uh, but yeah in the 1960s because of her work we now have home security cameras oh look at that another black woman saving america <laughs> thank you so so much as always for making it a point to remind the American people of just what black folks, especially black women, have been doing to save this country. While they sit out here on their platforms and try to act like we don't do what we do, you are making it a point to let them know we know what we know, all right? Absolutely, thank you, Zeus. And somebody right. in the comments said that Christy Alley passed away. Her movies are still in replay. Oh, 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 hit you him know, with it, hit him with it. She's still, her family is still collecting. Bingo. Bingo. And so, um, thank you, Zeus, for having me. Uh, I'll watch my mouth up here again. When right. I'm, and, and, and people were saying. Use they, profanity. Yeah, and no. I'm making it my business, if you don't mind me saying real quick. I'm staying yeah. out of toxic spaces. It doesn't matter if we have the same opinion or if we don't have the same opinion. If I'm sensing toxicity in any way, I'm just avoiding it. Amen. You will be in much healthier spaces. There are healthy ways to communicate disagreements. And I am bigger and better than toxicity. Bingo. So soaring, we are uh, toxic. We are not. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Zeus. I all right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give the beautiful superwoman a round of applause. Go Live Detective! See that, ladies and gentlemen? It's not that hard to get in the box and tell the truth. It's like my grandmother says, tell the truth and what? Shame the devil, all right? All right, and listen, I see some dissension is still in the comment section. What is the problem? You know what I said at the top of the show. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Exactly. All right. I'm not that girl. Good morning. How are you? Yes, I'm using my wife's uh, account, and I love your show. Oh, okay. So. You do? All right. Well, you know, I got to ask you some questions that matter. All right. I think I know yes. what your answer is, but we do this to everybody when it's our first time doing business. All right. Oh, absolutely. All right. First question. In your opinion, did President Biden steal the 2020 election? Yes or no? No. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Next question. 
Uh, in your opinion, who would you say is responsible for the attack on the Capitol on January 6th? The orange man. Hey! And last and final question. Do you think President Biden or Hillary Clinton are guilty of any crimes? No. Oh, yes! I'm going to go ahead and give them a follow. All right, see, that's what it is. You see, ladies and gentlemen, and you and I, we didn't we didn't coordinate the answers to those questions before, right? Correct. 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 Yeah. All right. I listen to you all the time. Oh, I listen to you all the time, and and you know, Snuggles is oh. gets on my nerves. Oh my God, Snuggles, huh? Yeah. Don't worry, he's losing. He's losing. You haven't seen him around Absolutely. lately, right? You haven't seen uh, him, right? No, I haven't. But I yeah. I wait every seven days. Mm. Oh, okay. seven days because <laughs> he gets suspended <laughs> absolutely uh actually zeus uh this is snuggles all right trump no. all the way democrats oh, okay. get those knee pads well! Well! <laughs> Snuggles, I got to give it to you. That's a new trick. That's a new trick. <laughs> this is, these, listen, ladies and gentlemen, these folks, they break their necks to come in here and have a conversation with me. So we have Snuggles on record telling the truth. He answered all three of my questions. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> Snuggles, cut it out. All right, listen up, champ. You need to do. You need to continue to do what you've been doing. You know, and that's sitting your special behind down and listening to this special broadcast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's a good example of a mega demon who knows that the only way to come in to the kingdom and speak to me is to pretend like he's something he's not. He pretended, and boy, oh boy. He pretended quite well. All right, let's bring up our next uh, next guest, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God! Good morning. Who do we have here? Good morning, Jesse. He sounded like a beta male. <laughs> Good morning, Bruce. How are you? Uh, I am all right. How are you? Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you too. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Are you going to ask me all them questions? Well, yeah. Yes, this is our first time doing business. You know, I think I've spoken to you once or twice before. Okay, because I see we're already, you know, friends. But I'll ask away because we had a, a bit of a fraudster in my box, all right? And I want to get Well, it ain't it. not to me. It ain't, your, it ain't you. Okay, so listen up, Jesse, all right? And first of all, like I said, it's happy, happy Monday, and thanks for joining. Um, first question is, in your opinion, uh, did President Biden steal the 2020 election, yes or no? Absolutely not. All right. <laughs> There you go, there you go. All right, uh, next question. In your opinion, who would you say is responsible for the attack on the Capitol on January 6th? The orange clown. Yeah! You get the answers right like this, you gotta keep going. All right, last and final question. Who would, uh, is President Biden or Hillary Clinton, are they guilty of any crimes? No, they're all not. All right. You answered all the questions very, very well. All right, what do you got for us this bright and early? Well, you know, I, I, you know, Zeus, I like to go on these lives and just see what people are talking about. Okay. And there's one live that concerned me, and I try to give everybody an opportunity to, 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 you know, talk and give their opinion and their views. And I just came off of uh, the Tanner's live, one of them anyway. And what concerns me, I ask questions, and I. I, I you know, my concern with him is that why would you want to come now and, and try to split the vote or distort, you know, black people and try to get who, black who, people to who, vote who, for you? Who, who's doing this? Dr. Tanner. Dr. Tanner. And what is his political, uh, what is his stance in, politically, at least? Well, politically, well, when he, if he is elected, he's a black man, for one, yeah, if he's yeah, elected. Yeah. 
he is going to enact, uh, what is that, uh, where the president signs into law everything. He's going to get rid of Congress, get rid of the Senate. So he's a uh, Republican. He's a Republican. I don't know what he is, but I know <laughs> it ain't his time. It is it, not his time. I mean, I just, it, it sounds it, it sounds like he's on some you know dictator type of stuff, right? It's, it's yeah, and I want to ask questions all the time. And my question is, why would you want to come out now and try to split the vote? You know, I vote blue all the way. Right. Good job. No. Why would you want to come out now? Why not aim lower? You mm. know, because well, the American people are not going to vote for you. They don't know you. Yeah. Um, well, you know, I, I don't know this individual quite well, but based off what you're telling me, it sounds like, you know, these are the folks that are, you know, working on behalf of Donald Trump in ways they don't uh, either understand or they're intentionally doing it. That's why there's there's money to be made in taking advantage of people. Right. Infinite zone. Thank you. And I oh, think yeah. most of these folks are doing it just to make money. If you ask. And me. I believe so, too. And I, I believe it, it, it's 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 a con. And your target focus is black people. Mm, you know? Easy, easy. You it know, be easier, right? And, and, it, and the way that he was talking to me is like, don't be concerned about the process. We're not Big asking tax. you for any money. Mm. You know, yeah, I'm concerned about the process. Oh, what yeah. are you, a slave? Oh, <laughs> no. that's, what he, that's what he said to you? Yes, yes. I oh, just, no. you know. I was on this live once before and they blocked me. I guess I was asking all the wrong questions. But, you know, my concern is people out here who really don't understand mm. the process, you know. They're poorly educated and they're proud well, of it. A lot and of people, people are know. targeting. Yeah. People are targeting people. Yeah. And, it, and it's nothing wrong. And don't get me wrong. I'm not so super educated. I just know the process. But you got common sense, right? It sounds like yeah. you, got lot, you got good common sense, all right? But imagine a lot of these folks out here who don't got common sense and are poorly educated, they go for anything. I mean, right. these, these, these folks will send their last. I've, I've been talking to a lot of folks out here. These folks will send their last to Donald Trump or folks like him and, right. and, and force their own families to starve. Mm -hmm. Because they That's believe it. they believe that God is telling them that Donald Trump is going to deliver prosperity and abundance to them they believe this stuff right you know, well but, look him up zeus look look that dr tan up and, right. and i'll come back one day all but right. good talking to you have a blessed monday all right you too all right ladies and gentlemen let's give the beautiful jesse a round of applause no lies <laughs> detected keeping keep them honest on a monday morning that's what we do ladies and gentlemen all right all right all right. Hello, Venus. Nice to see you bright and early. You see, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I'm still I'm, I'm still uh, I'm still trying to unpack what Snuggles did uh, doing that nasty trick to get into the live. All right. He came in the box and lied openly and in front of everyone just to have a conversation with Zeus. They ought to tell you folks something. They're really losing over there and they know it. They know it. Snuggles, you're losing. You should tell your supporters the truth, all right? And you don't got to you don't got to resort to being doing these nasty tricks uh to speak to me, all right? Speak to me from the comments where you belong, all right? Uh good morning. Who do we have? My girl. Nice to meet you. Good. Oh, I remember. How are you doing? Long time no see. Good morning. Good morning. I'm good. How are you? Uh, I'm all right. Just tending to the affairs in the kingdom as usual. I'm popular. Jimmy thinks I look like a Democrat. I don't know what that means, but he thought the last guest did too. <laughs> Jimmy is, you know, he calls, you know, we're brothers, right? And, and he's always in trouble with mom, right? Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy is a little bit on the delusional side, right? And so, you know, please be a little nice to him. But Jimmy, she's not, she's not MAGA. Cut it out. <laughs> Now, what do you got for us this morning, all right? Well, I haven't been up here yet, so I don't know if you want to go through your questions with me or not. You haven't been up here. We're already friends. I know. I have never been. I'm oh. usually working. 
Okay, yeah, okay, I'm... okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have quite a show this morning. Well, you know what? Let's get into it. And especially while Brother Jimmy is down there in the comments section getting his behind handed to him, him and Snuggle. <laughs> My girl, uh, first question. In your opinion, was the 2020 election stolen by President Biden? No. Let's go. <laughs> bye bye, Jimmy. <laughs> bye bye, Snuggles. All right. Next question. In your opinion, who would you say is responsible for the attack on the Capitol on January 6th? I have to really think about that one. Um, Donald Trump. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Little Hawk, I see you. Show of force, all right. You're got you're spot on. Last and final question. Do you think President Biden or Hillary Clinton are guilty of any crimes? Yes or no? No. Let's go. <laughs> true, true, true. All right. All right. Well, you passed the first part of the questioning. The first part of the live. Uh now let's get into today's topics. Is there anything in particular um that you wanted to address with the kingdom, those of us out here? Yes, there is, because I've been listening to a lot of things on um, YouTube and just like different interviews with former Trump staffers. And I've been listening to books by former Trump staffers. Mm -hmm. And I don't think most of MAGA realizes the gravity of how horrific a leader he was and mm. how like un he was just like unfit completely unfit right yeah and, um what are know, they saying what are they saying in these interviews that you've been watching on youtube oh my god just all these things like the generals you know they say that trump was feared by different countries and that's why um we had world peace and whatnot <laughs> His generals were running around behind him after every tweet, every day, trying to fix things that he was screwing up so we didn't have World War Three. Bingo. And Bingo. It's terrifying. Yeah. It's terrifying. The more you learn about how truly unfit he was, I mean, look, people, we will survive bad policies. If you don't like Joe Biden's policies, okay, great. We'll survive that. Bingo. But we will not survive a dictatorship. Nope. You're spot we won't. on. You're, right. You're spot on. And why do you think his supporters are, you know, gravitating towards this dictatorship thing Donald Trump is pushing? Why do you think they're they're heading in that direction? Honestly, I think it's because they trust him and they don't <laughs> realize what that would truly look like. Mm. I don't even think he understands what it would truly look like, except for he would be able to do whatever he wants to do mm, mm. without question. Wow. Wow. I mean, what advice, talking. what advice, you know, for those, you know, because we already know there's some folks out here who who are fully indoctrinated with MAGA. We can't save them and nor and I don't want to. But what about those who are really, truly confused about what's happening? Right. You know, they're coming up and they're seeing the left and the right go at it. What would you say to them? I think they just really need to take a step back mm. and, and be objective. I mean, there's a man who shits and sorry, poops in golden toilets. He mm. is not. He is not one of us. He is mm. not one of you. He's out of touch and he makes you feel special because he says that in words, but he doesn't do it in actions. Right. Spot on. Spot on. Yeah. And, and they should really understand who they're voting for when they go out and cast their vote. If they vote for Donald Trump, they will truly regret it, right? Yes. Because yes. like you said, you're, you're hearing from Trump's own former aides, folks who work with him, and they're all, and they're all coming back with the same conclusion. This guy yep. is bad. This guy is terrible. Yep. And there are dozens of books written by former aides and staffers and, and whatnot. And just kind of for comparison's sake, I did a Google search of how many former Obama administration people wrote books about him. There were like eight of them and they were all really positive. Mm, wow. And wow. We can't say that about uh, Donald Trump, huh? No, not at all. <laughs> no, even his own wife doesn't even have anything positive to say about him. That says a lot. Yep. All right. Well, listen, my girl, it was a pleasure checking in with you this Monday morning. All right. Yes. Thank and, you and, for and, having me up. 
No problem. And always come back. Feel free to come back and share the good news. All right. I will. Thank you. Keep doing what you do. I will try my best. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give the beautiful my girl a round of applause. No lies detected. You see, ladies and gentlemen, it's not that hard to get in the box and tell the truth and shame the devil. All right. This is the problem with you Trump supporters. Every single morning we show up with our homework complete and you show up with your homework incomplete. You're getting an F in the class. And the answers to the questions on the test isn't you are lying. That's not an answer. It's like I've been saying, if there's anything you hear us lying about, you know the rule. Put it in the chat. Cite the source so we all can be just as wise as you, but you've never done it. All you got is a bunch of tricks and a bunch of grifting situations going on. And it's not going to work because, again, the American people, we see right through it. All right, we see right through it. Good morning, the beautiful Shay. Hey, how are you? Uh, I am all right. It's, uh, how about you? Um, I've been better, but I'm happy to be here. So yes, good. It's, I'm happy that you are here. All right. Oh my. Yes, God. yes. You yes have yes, a I'm... great weekend. Uh, no, I, I, uh, I'm in a wheelchair. <laughs> are you serious? Yes. Oh, no. What happened? I slipped and fell on my stairs oh, and no. I sat back on my right foot that I broke almost 11 years ago. Oh, and no. I, oh yeah, dislocated the ankle, oh, the foot was at a 90 degree angle, oh, it was oh, so God. awful y'all, I cannot even, like Ugh. my husband took me to the emergency room, I'm literally like, can I just get contacts and a bra, so I go in my oh, John God. Lewis. Uh, you know, good trouble t-shirt, my champagne pajama pants, barefoot. Yeah. 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 Uh, takes me in and every time they wheel me down the hallways, every medical professional is like, oh, honey, how did you do that? And I'm like, I oh. have no idea. Oh, so, oh yeah. my God. So I'm so I'm, sorry you're going yeah. through that. Oh <laughs> my like, God. And the, what's so crazy is like the x-ray technician wheels it in and she takes a snap. She's like, you've broken this before. I'm like, yep, there's a plate oh, of screws. Six uh, screws holding together that fibula. I snapped uh, it again, but right at the top of the plate. Uh, yeah. So they had to put me under anesthesia to snap oh, my people back in. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Shay. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, 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 uh... I'm like, what the fuck? I oh, mean, my God. Oh, my God. Listen, I got that, Shay. I can cut. Oh my God, you do, but I'm gonna hit that button. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you know, moral to the I... story is children. Uh, yeah. Well, the uh, moral, the moral is that try not to be in a house with stairs, right? I no, mean, getting I'm still shocked, I, and I have these weird like flashbacks, and it just makes me cringe. I'm like, I can't believe I fucking did that to myself. Oh my God! Like, oh my ah! God! Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so uh, yeah, so life, my poor husband. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm my right foot, so I can't drive. Oh my God. Oh he must handle God. everything. God bless him. Well, anyway. well it's, it's, it's impressive that you're, you're still able to, you know, joke about it and, and, uh, and chuckle. Oh my gosh. But I, I'm seriously, uh, I'm, I'm wishing you a speedy recovery. And I, I think most of us are. And I do you. hope you feel better soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm just Be looking forward. Be careful. For getting through the damn surgery because I know that once, because I've been through it before, that that's when the healing really starts and I can just be on the mend and move forward. I'm just praying for no casting. Last time I got to wear a boot, medical boot. Yeah. I could walk in it, but at least I didn't have to be casted and I could take it off and take a bath, mm. things like that. So I'm just praying I get to mm. do that. Yeah. Again, because that was that was a godsend. Thank God. And, and, and one last question. Did you, did, were, did you go to a, a MAGA hospital or did you go to a Democrat hospital? <laughs> Well, it's in the city of Houston, so I'm pretty sure there were some good Democrats running around. All there. right, all right, all right. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I want to know. Affordable care, Obama. Okay, let's go. Oh, right. Hey, I've got insurance. You know, that's the blessing. I had, I have, you know, full coverage insurance. There's a lot of, a lot of blessings when this stuff comes through, as far as that goes. And I'm, I'm glad that I won't have to go into debt and after Bingo. because I, I had an accident Help. in my house and. I can't work, and so Thank no, I, I absolutely have a blessing. That's why I believe in universal health care because nobody should go into debt when they have a slip and fall. Thank you. And, you hear uh, that, MAGA? You see what happens? Yep.
This is this is just proof that the Democrats care about Americans. All right. Absolutely. But anyway, uh, so, yeah, um, you know, it's interesting, your guest before, you know, it's so true. I often point that out when we talk about Trump. Is like, you know, I've been voting since 1988 and I have never seen an, a, a president that leaves office and has so many tell all books. Even before he was out of the office, most of those books were written before he left. Mm, what they is were, that? <laughs> <laughs> like they, they couldn't like wait. They couldn't signs. wait. Yeah, they couldn't warning wait signs. to warn us. Yeah, they've been trying to warn us. And these are people elected by him, picked by him wanted him to be successful and of course if you see anybody in here they're gonna say they're rhinos mm. they're deep state they're sellouts they're you know yeah yeah and it's right. like well then okay so if we go with that line of thinking then do you really think he should be back in the office because he really sucks at picking people like mm. right like Good. His, his pickers off like if you can't put someone in the office an executive office and not know how to hire people correctly. Like right. I, I, heard, I heard people making um, some excuse for uh, who was it um, that was in there? Oh, like his generals and stuff like that. And some, some people said, well, he doesn't always know everyone. Oh, the Nick Fuentes thing and the this uh, thing and the uh, that thing. They always, it's always get an excuse, right? Yeah. Like, well, he didn't, he didn't really, oh, what about the Steve Bannon and the Roger Stone mm. and the Jeff Sessions, no, Steve Miller, the known white supremacist that he Bingo. Hired, right? Yeah. And, and their excuse is, well, he doesn't know everything. Like he has a team that picks, um, picks people. That is not true. First of all, they do huge amounts of background checks before you can even get a credential or a pass into the White House. Amen. These people had to be confirmed by acts of the Senate. Yep. I mean, you've got to be kidding me, people. Everybody knew this. Yeah. Every single person that voted to let Jeff Sessions in. It was talked about in his confirmation hearings of his white supremacy background mm -hmm. and Steve Miller's background, but they didn't care. They didn't yeah. care. Yeah. He had control of the Senate at the time when he came in yeah. to get all of his his cabinet, um, you know, um, secured or whatever. It's, I forget com confirmed. So yeah. th that's what happened. And <laughs> so they all knew who these yeah. people were. So missed me with that. They knew mm. who these white supremacists were. And Bingo. They didn't care because that was who Steve Bannon wanted, and that was the archetype of his of his election in 2016 and his campaign. Yeah. And it was based on fear mongering and build the wall and racist tropes and all of that. And now you see him talking and what's he doing? He's still pushing it. He's still talking about that the immigrants yep. are spoiling the blood of this country. I, They're contaminating the blood it. of this country. Yep, I heard he it. said it again just recently. Yeah. I mean, it's awful, guys. Yeah. And so miss me with, oh, but Biden said there was jungle, you know, racist jungle. Racial. And he said, if you're not black, you will vote for me. And oh. that's supposed to. Yeah. So I, I want you to pick out a known white supremacist in the Biden Harris um, administration, please. Please, MAGA. Please. I'd love one. to see that. We got them all over MAGA. All right, we really do. Yeah. But when it comes, to, they don't see them in MAGA, but they somehow can see them in the Democrat Party, huh? Isn't that so interesting? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is, isn't it? Isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And, and we've talked about the the comments he made with the racial jungle and all this stuff. It's like you didn't read the whole speech, did you? Yeah, yeah. Play the whole tape like they tell me whenever right. we tell them. You know, Donald Trump says, you know, uh, what do he say? Fight like hell. Remember when he's uh -huh. oh Zeus? Play the whole clip. He said somewhere in there peacefully. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Oh, oh God, God, it's so silly, but yeah. So I don't know. We're gonna keep fighting on. It's yeah. I think you know it's a year away, and I think there's a lot that's gonna happen between now oh, and then. It, oh, it will. So, You're right. But, You're spot on. Well, but I'm true. glad that he's just coming out and telling everybody he wants to be a dictator and, and pushing all his mind yeah. yeah. and Adolf Schmittler points. And, and, and I want I, I I like that he's doing it openly because we all saw. Hitler lose, right? Mm -hmm. He's a, he's he's going. Hitler's a loser, and Donald Trump is following mm -hmm. in the footprints of one of the biggest losers. And so, Donald Trump's track record of a loser mixed with Hitler, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure it's going to end with him losing along with his supporters. He's already like, been to the bunker once. He might go to the bunker again, and hmm, yeah, you know, do things like Hitler did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, because he can't stand to lose. So yeah, all right. 
Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Take all care. Right. Thank you for all the well wishes. Love you guys. All right. Get well. Oh, and I'll see you out here in these TikTok streets. All right. Okay. Ladies and, Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give the beautiful Shay a round of applause. All right. No lies detected. Somebody in the comment, I think his name was uh, Vincent. He says, I wonder what, what God has in store for Zeus. This is what he said, Bill Vincent. You're looking at it, champ. You see me winning right here, right? Isn't God great? <laughs> Don't worry about what he got in store for me. You need to be worried about what he has in store for you, champ. Because Donald Trump's going to prison. And what do you think is going to happen to all of his supporters? Supporters like you, Vincent. <laughs> Jail, and if you don't get your soul right, hell. Thank you, Mount Negro, for that night helmet. All right. <laughs> now you go on over there to one of those Snuggles lives. All right, go on over there to that Snuggles live. All right, and see if Snuggles can save you from God. All right, because you know what they say: your arms are too small to box with the good Lord. All right, all right, and let's keep on. Oh, 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 oh Vincent, you don't know why you're going to prison? Just wait, you'll find out. Just wait, you'll see. <laughs> oh my God. Vincent, you, oh my gosh. Oh, Sharon, I guess you couldn't do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, oh my goodness, my good friend, Dark Nutty. Nutty Bravessa. Good morning, happy Monday, how are you? All right, how are you doing, my brother? Not too bad, not too bad too bad I, I did want to um, bring something out that superwoman brought up this morning um so home depot did not support uh donald trump it was the founder it was one of the co-founders of home depot and he hasn't had anything to do with the organization for years oh so there's more to the story so, there's more there there's more meat on the bone got it there we'll is. see that's why we there gotta is. get it right yeah yeah so you know definitely want to be fair to home depot um, he has nothing to do with Home Depot anymore. He was just one of the co-founders of Home Depot. But yes, with that being said, um, I, tr I, tried, I tried to send you a message to warn you that that was Snuggles <laughs> and oh. you didn't see it. Right. <laughs> and, you, and you didn't see it. He, but he, Maga, tried, he tried to trick me, huh? Yeah, oh, absolutely. But Maga, it goes to show you the lengths that y'all go through just to get in the presence of sane people. <laughs> Just to get in the presence of sane people, like, but that was funny though. That was, was funny. I, I'm gonna give it to him. That was a he, good he, one. He, he got you. Yeah, he got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But but we'll be on the but, lookout a little more. So now that this is recorded, I definitely want you to take um, some audio shots of him confessing that the election wasn't stolen. Yeah, that, <laughs> that Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton aren't guilty of any crimes. Facts, y'all, y'all, your 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 mini demon, y'all heard him say it. Yeah, it came he did. Mouth. He did. It no came out. Detected. What, what? Whether he was trying to play a joke on Zeus, it doesn't matter. The fact is, he said it. Now that the truth actually came out of his mouth, maybe. We, well, we know that the the seed has been planted. Yep. So I, now, now it's time for that seed to just continue to grow. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and post Snuggles confessing uh, yeah. that all the stuff he's been saying was a lie when he got into the kingdom. All right. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, so, so how about your your boy um, um, getting hit with a hundred forty eight million dollar? Oh, Mr. Rudy the Two D Giuliani. <laughs> Woo! Maga. He's gonna be broke the rest of his life. Maga. Do you all not see that everything Donald Trump touches is getting indicted right. and, and going broke, yeah. if not going to jail? Mm. Mm. But, yet, but yet you all want to continue supporting this dictator wannabe. Wow. And so, again, I, I ask the same questions a million times, if not a billion times. What will it take for you to stop supporting a man and start supporting the country? Mm. No, I didn't say a party. Mm. Cause the heck with parties. Yeah. The heck with parties. Mm. When will you stop supporting a man? So you've heard me say a million times that, you know, Joe Biden wasn't my first choice. No. Nope. But I voted for Joe Biden because he wasn't Donald Trump. Correct. Twenty twenty four, Joe Biden has earned my vote. Amen. He's earned it. And that's the way it's supposed to happen. 
these politicians are supposed to get out there and they're supposed to earn the vote of the people. Because if they don't earn the vote, they don't have a right to stay like your fearless leader was trying to do. Yeah. Because nope. America gave him a big fat middle finger and used his line and said, Donald Trump, mm. you're fired. <laughs> oh. And he got all up in his depends. Yep. Started pooping himself mm-hmm. and said, the jig is over. I got to try to try to keep this jig going. Mm. And yet y'all still want to put him back in the White House. Yeah. The first time in our nation's history, there wasn't a peaceful transfer of power. Mm. And yet y'all still want to put him back in, in the presidency. Yeah. What will it take for you, MAGA, to step back and say, you know what? I cannot support this. I have to support the Constitution, in which you, you claim to love. Yeah. They don't love it. So They don't love it. Like our good friend Itchy says, MAGA... If you support MAGA, if you're part of MAGA, you're a racist. And you're a traitor to this country. Bingo. Period, point blank, end of discussion. And yes, if you support Donald Trump and the MAGA movement, you are indeed Mm. the enemy of the state. Yep. And you are the biggest racist to ever walk the face of this earth. Because you cannot support a demon and think you're not going to be demonized. Bingo. You're supporting a demon. Someone who clearly told you that he wants to be dictator. I don't Mm. care if he did say for a day. The fact is, is anybody is running for the presidency of the United States of America and for any period of time says, I want to be a dictator. You are unfit to lead to be in this office. You, 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 can you be a demon for a day, Nutty? Is that how it works? Absolutely not. Because once, <laughs> that, once that demon gets in you, he's not gonna he's not gonna release it. No, nope. he's not gonna release your soul. Nope. That's why I keep telling y'all. Okay, so let's say say he is a dictator for a day. He, yeah. he he's gonna keep that power up. You really think he's gonna relinquish that power after twenty four hours? No. The devil is a lie. The devil is a he's lie. He's not gonna relinqu- relinquish that power because he fantasized about dictators. Mm. He wants to be Kim Jong Il, Kim, mm. Kim Jong Un. He wants to be Vladimir Putin. Amanda. He wants to be right. Ed- Edgeron. He yeah. wants to be he wa- he wants to be um she President Xi. He wants to be Putin. This is what he wants to do, y'all. Yeah. And and, and, his, so, and his supporters they want to wipe his dirty behind. That's how nasty they are. Just disgusting. That's because they that's because they don't love America. They don't love themselves either make america great again are you kidding me yeah y'all don't even know where the origins of that came from they know it came it came from the mustache man Mm -hmm. in the 1930s when he was like make germany great again and then it was picked up by your other fearless racist leader ronald reagan mingo when he said let's make america great again Mm -hmm. and then donald trump make america great again Come on, y'all. Do Tell them, Nutty. Tell them, Nutty. Do your history. Do Stop your history. Walking blind and, and having blind faith in these tyrants. I heard my bell. Have a great all day, right. sir. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up to Nutty Professor. No lies detected. You know, it's like President Biden says about MAGA. MAGA, they don't respect the Constitution, right? MAGA Republicans do not respect the Constitution. Nope. They do not believe in the rule of law. They do not recognize the will of the people. They refuse to accept the results of a free election. And they see their MAGA failure to stop a peaceful transfer of power after the 2020 election as preparation for the 2022 and 2024 elections. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represented extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. MAGA MAGA forces are determined to take this country backwards. You hear that? We know where you stand, MAGA. We know where you stand and we know where you don't stand. So there's really nothing to debate. Like I've been saying in this live, you need to do us all a huge favor. And that's this. 
you need to sit your special behinds down and listen to this special broadcast, all right? I don't want to talk to you with your eighth grade educations. Absolutely not. No, you need to spend your time not on TikTok, but inside of a book somewhere. Okay, read your history, and you ain't getting it off of no YouTube. I'm talking about go back, study the curriculum, all right? You know when you go to class, they give you a curriculum, they give you a syllabus, and they have a test at the end of the, at the, end of the lectures and at the end of the chapters you've been supposed to be reading. You ain't been through that kind of training. So you're not qualified to get out here on TikTok and have a real educated conversation with me, all right? And if you're talking to other folks in your own space, you ain't going nowhere. You're just wasting your time. It's a bunch of, it's a bunch of dumb folks in a, on a live trying to sound smart. Just what Donald Trump is looking for. If I was Donald Trump, I'd do the same thing. Where are those lives at on TikTok where we got all the dumb folks at? Wearing my hat. All right, let's go hit them up and get a, get a couple hundred thousand out of these suckers. They'll believe anything I say. That's what he's doing to you. He's using you. He's playing you like a fiddle. And you know it. That's why you get upset with me. But you really aren't upset with me. You got to be upset with yourselves. That's why your wives are upset with you. You're spending all your time on TikTok talking to a bunch of fools, not learning a thing, spending the money that you should be using to help make sure your family's taken care of, right? Getting them some eggs. You're on TikTok arguing on behalf of Donald Trump, trying to explain how he's innocent of everything that he's currently going through because somehow the Democrats are connected to it. Even though we've already seen and talked about it, it's not any Democrats testifying against Donald Trump and his crimes. None. So where are you getting this narrative that it's the Democrats doing this? Think about it, MAGA. Like I said, if it was up to me, you, Elon, give me one of those SpaceX rockets, all right? I got a few Trump supporters that they believe there's a pot of gold on Mars. Let's see if we can get him on that rocket and send If it was up to me, that's what I would do, all right? But it's not up to me. All right, we got to we got to play by the rules of the land, MAGA, and I want you to really think long and hard. Why aren't there any Democrats testifying against Donald Trump? Why is it Republicans and other folks that were MAGA? And why does Donald Trump keep saying it's the Democrats when it wasn't? Think about it, MAGA. Jesus. Jesus. I can't believe you folks are so dumb. I really can't. Let's bring up our next guest, ladies and gentlemen, all right? All right we, I see we're running out of time. I know you all like to get me to work overtime, but we can't do that, all right? Uh, Black Boot, good morning. How are you? Morning, Zeus. How you doing? Uh, I'm all right. Uh, it's our first time doing business, huh? Yeah, it is. All right. I got some questions to ask you, and how you answer them determines your fate in the kingdom. Ready? I'm ready. All right. First question, in your opinion, uh, did President Biden steal the 2020 election? No, he didn't steal it. Good answer. Next question. In your opinion, who was responsible for the attack on the Capitol on, on January 6th? Oh, that'd be Daddy Trump. Oh, let's go. You said Daddy Trump? You said Daddy Trump. Oh, my gosh. That's actually quite hilarious, right? Just keep thinking Trump, Trump, Trump. Trump is your daddy. <laughs> All right, last and final question. Uh, in your opinion, do you think President Biden or Hillary Clinton are guilty of any crimes? No, they're not. There you go. All right, Black Boot, welcome to the broadcast. I assume you're being sincere. You're not playing a joke on Zeus like that character Snuggles, all right? No, nope, nope, I'm not. I, I, you're not Snuggles, I, I, are you? No, I, I need to. I need to. Uh, to, to I need to s send a message out to my fellow uh, MAGA patriots. Fair enough. I think. I think it's time that we um, that we um, uh, start facing facing reality. And Jack Smith, by him going to the Supreme Court and asking them to go ahead and rule on whether a president can be prosecuted for his crimes. Right. You know, it just leaves us with uh, with two choices: either they can. Either they can say a, a president can't be prosecuted for his crimes, which tells Joe Biden that he can do anything he wants to, and uh, and if and if he wants to do all the things we're accusing him of, he don't have to have a political opponent, and 
And if the rule says that a, that, a, that a president can be prosecuted for his crimes, which I think they already ruled during the Nixon Watergate uh, scandal, mm. uh, well, then Trump don't have a leg to stand on, y'all, because that's going to be his defense. Mm. It's the only defense he's got. And if you ever go down there and actually read the indictments, mm. um, and then you compare that to, to the amount of people that's testifying against him, y'all, mm. um, he, he's over. Oh. He's over. And and the fact that this Supreme Court responded to Jack Smith's request in five hours makes me think they may have already prepared for this. They seen this coming come down the pipe. Oh. So this, this this case is coming to us eventually. We might as well rule on it. <laughs> That's why they gave him nine days. Said you oh. need to respond to us by the twentieth. Wow. I think they already know, Patriots. I think they already know. So that, that trial is going to start in March. Wow. And, and, and independent voters, 70% of them said if he's convicted of anything, they ain't voting for him. Wow. Well, when, when you do the math or get somebody to help you do it, that's going to tell you that, uh, that Joe Biden's going to win by like 72% of the vote. Oh. And, and, and if he's, and Jack Smith said that trial is only going to last a few weeks, which means, He'll be being sentenced in July about the same time that the RNC is picking oh. their nomination. Oh, Black Boot, you're you're slaying MAGA all morning. Wow. And then and then come August, well, oh. Fannie Willis is going to start her trial. Oh God. So, if we go and vote for Donald Trump, even after he's been a convicted felon, a man that can't even vote for himself. Yeah. The history uh -huh. books are going to going to show us to be a bunch of people that lost our mind because we had to pay 80 cent extra for a loaf of bread <laughs> and decided that we wanted to put Christian nationalist dictators in over our government because we're pissed off because we can't buy eggs for a dollar fifty a dozen. Oh, oh my gosh, Black Boot. Wait a second. You hear that? You hear that? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, Black Boot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What you did. Let me see if you can. Let me see if you can. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. I can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it. Hold on. Uh, let me see what we got over here. Here, let me see if we got it over here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Well, listen, I don't have it over here. I thought I could hear it, but I, I guess I can't hear it over here. There's a lot of people out in the comment section saying that you're scaring them and that you're, you're lying. What do you have to say about that? Um, I'm just telling the truth. I'm just telling the truth. I mean, uh, uh, it's time to face reality there, patriots. Um, are we really going to we really gonna ride this Trump train all the way off the cliff? Because come March, April, that's the end of the tracks. Mm. Because, because come August, he's dealing with Georgia, mm. Rico. And that don't, that don't, even, that don't even count uh, espionage Trump down in Florida. That don't even count uh, Stormy Daniels' hush money Trump in New oh, York. Oh, you went and brought Stormy into this. Jesus Christ, Black Boot, you're scaring them. You can hear them, right? You can hear it. You hear that? That's their heart beating. They're scared of you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying, Patriots, we got other choices out there. We don't have to go down in history mm. as the most gullible, mm. insane Americans. Now, I realize that most of us didn't follow politics or never even voted till 2016. Mm. But then all of a sudden we became experts on everything. We become experts <laughs> on foreign policy, on medicine, economics, mm. all of it. Wow. We're all experts because we have smartphones. Mm. We have <laughs> Go. We have Rumble. We have YouTube. We have Telegram. We got some guy on Twitter. All that rely. Jesus. Uh, now I didn't. I didn't tell you to come up here and say. That. A lot of people might think you and I, you know, coordinated behind the scenes to do this. That didn't happen, did it? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no. you came to this conclusion. No, I watch. On I watch your all the time, dude. Mm. Well, yeah, I come to this conclusion on my own. Yeah. Wow. 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 Listen, Black Boot. I mean. You hit it out of the park, and I don't think there's a stone that's not been turned over. All right. 
and, and, and I'm actually encouraged uh, the way that you said what you said to the supporters. It's in, it's encouraging me to I guess keep going and doing what I've been doing. All right, and I I I, I think I'm following you now. If I wasn't, yeah. But I but I, but I like the message. All right, because there was a lot of truth in it. It was unforgiving. All right, it was honest, and and it takes into account everything that we have all been watching occur over the last what seven years since donald trump took office yep yeah is so in your opinion you're saying it's more than likely donald trump's going to be convicted right um i would say that uh you get up on the duck duck go and you go and look at the uh the uh federal pro prosecution rate of 98 percent mm. with four charges in march um that means he'll be convicted on more than three of them. Bingo. Bingo. So, yeah, it's over, MAGA. It's over. Well, listen, Black Boot, my good friend, please continue to come back and share the truth with all of us here in the kingdom, all right? You always have a spot in here, all right, champ? All right, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give Black Boot a round of applause. One last question, though, Black Boot. Do you sleep well at night knowing you just said that kind of stuff to Mega? I sleep wonderfully. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got it honest. He's got it honest. All right. Well, listen, to, thank you, my brother. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what you call a treat. Thank you, Black Boot. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we got a couple more, and then we got to get up out of here, ladies and gentlemen, because Zeus has other affairs to tend to. All right, good morning, Queen. How are you? I'm good. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hey, uh, I, I have two things. Let's go. Let's go. Snuggles needs to run my four cents back to me. <laughs> <laughs> he, he he owes you money? Yep. Because we gave him gifts thinking that he was a right. Democrat or, or truth so seeker. He's just like right. his orange leader mm. okay. a grifter okay all right we're gonna get that four cents out of him i guarantee you yeah with, I, in, with interest I, I felt like i donated to trump so mm. that that doesn't sit right with me we're gonna get it back don't worry queen we won't let him get away with that not at all right angel okay we're gonna get him we're gonna get him and another thing magus let me go bible on you uh-oh Proverbs 16, man's plan, God laughs at. Mm. So whatever you're planning, God's, God's will will always prevail. Mm. Mm. You Tell remember him. that. So whatever your orange leader is, is trying to strategize and be a dictator, God is not going to allow that to happen to his children. Amen. Amen. So thank you for letting me come up. That's all, right. all I wanted to say. I just need my four coins back. Uh, struggles. All right. All right. Well, I'm we're going to get those four coins back out of him. All right. Okay. Even it, all right. And you got my word. I promise you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give Queen a, a round of applause. Have a great day. And stay safe out here in those TikTok streets. You do. All right. See, see, Snuggles, you came in here with evil in your heart, right? You let the devil use you just so that you could get some attention. All right. But it's like my mom used to tell me, you don't want us meditating on your behind. All right. Now, now you got my attention, Snuggles. I can't believe you came in here and you took advantage of the kindness in the hearts of all of my friends in here only to reveal yourself to be deceived a deceiver because your father the devil put you up to one of those missions again one of those missions that he's been putting donald trump up to snuggles be careful okay because what goes around comes around <laughs> Good morning, Stick the Ruler. Don the Con, yeah. Good morning, Stick. Morning, morning, morning. Good morning. How are you doing, my brother? I just got a question, man. Like, I, I, I think you should have ended the live after Black Boot. 
<laughs> he crushed it, right? I mean, I don't have, and then, and then this, this is the thing I love because I put it in the comments. He said, "My fellow MAGA, MAGA Republicans slash uh, Patriots." I'm sorry. He said, "My fellow MAGA Patriots." Bingo. So, in the words, in other words, he is a true Republican. Uh, he is actually uh, willing to admit that Donald Trump and all his foolery is is really going to come to an end. Yeah. And uh, with that being said, I like to give out a reminder. Maybe not even a reminder. Maybe just something to say. You, you know, I'm tired. I am tired of Why? Uh, Democrats having to come in and oh, I'm tired of being a banker, man. I'm, I'm tired of uh, other Democrats and other Democratic presidents having to be bankers. We have to come in, straighten up the books, get it right. And then as soon as the books are plump and fat and, and full of life, they want to come and they want to drain it dry. And I'm talking mm. about uh, MAGA right now, you know, and then the MAGA of the 80s was a. Uh, was uh president uh uh reagan yeah you know he uh he he, he basically started this debt mm. i mean he he got it off he got it off big time and then uh daddy bush he came right behind him right, right? and then and then we had this young guy from arkansas come along and say hey to hold up wait a minute this ain't right let mm. me fix it and his name was bill clinton a democrat mm. right, right? He fixes it. He fixes it. Make it look good. The purse is fat. Guess who comes along? Another Republican. Let me get that. Mm -mm -mm. Right? Right. Same thing again. Mm. Same thing again. Spend all the money. Run up the deficit. Run up the debt. Oh, my God. Then here we go again. Who? Democrat by the name of Barack Obama. Bingo. Hussein Obama. Let's get that right. Barack Hussein Obama. Hussein Obama. <laughs> right? With yeah. this guy named Joe in the background, you know, just, you know, they G's, they G'ing it up. Mm -hmm. Get it back pluff again. Yeah. And, 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 and leave. And still two years after they leave, it's still uh, uh, pluffy. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and like my, my boy, my pillow. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. before, yeah, before he, he hooked up with Donald Trump, that is. Correct. Now the pillows are just, just flat. Yeah. I think they're made in China now. I don't know. But anyway. The whole thing that, that, that I'm just tired of, I'm tired of seeing Democrats, their hair goes from brown or black to gray because they're up there all times of the night mm. trying to figure out how to get this country right. Right. And then as soon as they get the country right and it looks good, they want to make a Republican look good by saying, oh, the, the country, oh, the, 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 the uh, economy is flowing. Oh, mm. yeah, yeah. Well, that guy before you did all the work, of course, is flowing right now. And you ain't gonna do nothing but jack it all up. Tell them. So yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just tired of it getting jacked up, and I think Black Boot deserves a thousand trillion rounds of applause. Let's get and, it. And uh, my man, just for yeah, just for just for you laying it down the way you laid it down, my man. You are the person of the day for me. Thank so uh yeah, I sent him a couple of gifts. I hope he enjoys, man. Like uh, Black Boot, you you are the the John McCain revamped. We you. appreciate it. All right. We definitely appreciate it. So hey, I heard my bell, Zeus. Thank you for letting me in the kingdom and and spread that real quick. Fair but enough. we're 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 not accountants. We're we're not accountants. Nope. <laughs> we're, we're not. Thing. We gotta but, do what we gotta do to clean up this mess. It, it, exactly. We do it well. But but that's not our job. Mm. So, all right. Uh, have have a good day in the kingdom, Zeus. All right. And man, black black boot. I, again, you are the person of the day in my book. All right, all right, all right. That's what we do. We bring the truth in the kingdom. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give Stick the Ruler a round of applause and black boot. No lies detected. Of our last and final guest before Zeus gets up out of here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what it is. All right, all right. Good morning, Miss Boss Diva. Oh, wait a second, Miss Boss Diva, come on back up. I saw you. Go ahead, Miss Boss Diva. All right, and then Zeus has to get up out of here. All right, all right. You know what we do. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> there we go. All right, all right. If I didn't get to you today, don't worry. We'll, there's always tomorrow. All right, I do this Monday through Friday. 
Uh, good, good morning, morning Miss Zeus. Good morning, Kingdom. Hey, uh, what's up, everybody uh, in the chat. Yeah. Oh, you're uh, feeling better. You got over that yeah, cold. Okay. I'm, uh, yes. 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 I'm trying to really get to one thousand percent, actually. Not okay. Just a hundred. You know what I mean? Okay. But, okay. Okay. Yeah. So um, I wanted to address Black Boot, right? Okay. Because I've I've seen him his uh, videos before. Okay. And um, I was really impressed by them the way that he. Uh, you know, puts his message out there. He's like connecting with them, uh, being, I guess, a part of them in, yeah, in a way, okay, Tyler. in that regard, but effectively getting his message out, you know, with the truth, which yeah. is the truth. Like regardless, he mentioned the, the Supreme Court's decision and the importance of what Jack Smith is doing right now, you know, asking for that, right? And uh, it basically boils down to, they have no choice. Their back is up against the wall. They're mm. either gonna give President Biden, because he can never leave office. How about that? Man, mm. if yeah. they was to decide that, you know, the president has no, you know, no no walls no ceiling yeah. no floor yeah then hey joe biden don't have to leave we don't even have to have an election in 2024. bingo we okay. win either way and he can put everybody he want to in congress he can <laughs> appoint whatever he want to do we can have our george uh floyd policing act we can have our john lewis voting yes. we can have everything that we've ever 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 presented as Amen. something that is very tangible to our the american people and yeah. therefore we can definitely build it the way we want to build it we, black people end up with reparations oh, how about that baby yeah. you know what I mean? let's go let's go jack smith because he ain't just doing that just for you know the cases in which he is prosecuting right, mm, right. he's doing that <laughs> just say you know what let's settle this score period mm, let's go, go. because go. it really does matter you know he can pardon his son uh you know hunter biden and, and anything goes because he's all president they'll be in a big trouble baby they'd be all in guantanamo bay stripped <laughs> of their u.s citizen rights somewhere you know wherever we'll just yeah, yeah, throw yeah, y'all yeah. somewhere to the wolves you know what i mean because Bingo. That's what you are, you're a pack of wolves, you know what mm, I mean? Trying yeah. to bounce on democracy like that. And Joe Biden in his lifetime is not going to let that happen. Absolutely you know what I mean? Not. He's just not. I don't care how much of a centrist he is. I don't give a doggone, you know, what you think about him. He racist, he this, he that. I bet you, you give him that power, you know what I mean? And then it's he'll over. just pass the reign to Madam President Kamala Harris. Yeah. Straight up Oakland, baby town business. That's where, that's where she's from. That's where Amen. I'm from. You know what that's I mean? Where I'm and, at. I love it. and I absolutely love it. So come on. Come on, Supreme Court. Let's yeah. hear it. Let's, Let's hear it with your conservative behinds. <laughs> Let's go. Tell them I'm boss ready Steven. for it. You understand town. me? <laughs> Let's get it. Now, I hope that they actually do this, right? Right. Before the new year. Mm. Because that will absolutely set the stage, the the tone, and everything for all five of them trials that's going on. Yeah. And that's where Donald Trump behind going to be. Orange Jesus going to be behind them bars, baby. Clinkety and he clink. will never see the light of day again, Mega. Not Bye. one time. So let's go, <laughs> Supreme Court. But Amen. Love you, Zeus. I, I heard my bell, you know. You know what I'm right, I had to rap, right. though, because that was fire. Hey, Black Boo. Shout out to you. You are the truth, man. Yeah. You are the yeah. truth. Make sure you follow me, though, wherever you at, because I can't find you somewhere in these comments. But anyway, that that's that's the tea. Any, I right. love y'all. Have a good day, Zeus. Mr. Handsome, I'll see y'all in these streets. All right, baby. all right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Miss Boss Diva a round of applause. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. One more panelist, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Tyler for Dems. Good morning. How are you doing, my good friend? Hey, Zeus. This is actually Dems against Trump. Here, I just changed oh. my name. Here. Oh, okay. I'm like, <laughs> I, I, I didn't recognize the name, but I do recognize you now. How are you doing, my good friend? I'm doing good here, and he's, right. you know, you know, it's like it's sad. Like you have Stacy and Janae in here that say that they want to be re like Republicans of the 1800s. And the thing is, is that they forget to realize is the Republicans of the 1800s were the progressive party of oh. that time. Oh, and 
now we fast forward in time and the democrats are the progressive party in time here mm. so stacy and janae you definitely are on the wrong side of history bro you hear that stacy uh, and janae bear you're on the wrong side of history again thank you uh thank you dims all right it's stuff and you know like hey at least zeus we we may be broke but we ain't rudy giuliani broke here with the <laughs> took a huge hit oh my gosh wow i wonder if he's gonna have to ask trump to help him pay that trump can't help him trump's on his way to being broke too i mean he's pretty much broke if you ask me that's why he keeps taking stacy and janae bear's money and snuggles exactly <coughs> yeah, oh, i'm talking about this live. stacy's in this live janae she's just under her backup account you know what she does stop pretending uh what was that so i was in I was in Snuggles Live the other day, and he had some statistic, fake statistics up saying that white people commit more crime. I'm oh, saying. oh, I saw so, that live. Fact, yeah, you saw that live? Yeah, I saw Here's that. Here's race he baiting people. And, and he couldn't explain the statistics. Snuggles is not good at math, all right? Every time people ask him to break it down, Snuggles, that's only 517,000. There's more white folks in this country than black folks, Snuggles. Make it make sense. He had no answers. Snuggles, where'd you get the silly graph from? He had no answers. So that's why I tell you, Trump supporters, be cautious and mindful when you go into these lies with these fake TikTok hosts that are ill-equipped to explain the information they're trying to talk about because they just don't know. You can't do it, Snuggles. You only got an eighth grade education, right? Or was that his friend Trouble that said that? One of the two, but it's the same thing. <laughs> And what's going to happen in 2024 when Joe Biden wins his reelection for another four years here? Oh, Stacey and, Janae, Stacey and Janae are going to have to go like seek mental health help. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, that's why I've been telling them they in this live, especially you, Janae, sit your special behind down and listen to this special broadcast. All right. You might just learn something. All right. But you got to pay attention and don't fight the truth. Accept it. Embrace it. All right. Definitely. Right. Well, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my birthday. I just turned 37 today and I got oh. three kids for the big four oh. series. Oh, oh, it's your birthday, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, listen up. You know, we celebrate birthdays here. Look, we got a little bit of time. So let's go ahead, uh, Dims. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we got a birthday in the kingdom. <laughs> I guess it's time because after this, I got to wrap it up. Oh, listen, your time's up. So sorry. This time's up. But listen. We'll celebrate happy birthday, all right? Are you got any big plans today or anything like that? Unfortunately, no. I got to work in the next 27 minutes uh, here, oh, so I okay. work on my birthday. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you know, it's good you have a job. You're keeping the unemployment numbers down, right? And that's how this works. All right. But Definitely. And I'm, helping, I'm, help, I'm, I'm helping give that welfare money to red states here like Stacy and Janae. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Well, listen, let's get this happy birthday song. All right, this one goes out to you, my good friend, Tyler. All right, and I thank you for all you do in the kingdom. Everywhere I go, you come and show love and support, all right? And we here appreciate you, my friend. All right, let's sing happy birthday. All right, show them some love. Yeah, I heard it was somebody's birthday. Hey! I heard it was somebody's birthday. Let's go. Yeah, PJ Penn, a birthday song. Yeah. Hey. Janae, share the love, Janae. Don't act like you ain't. 
ain't got no love in your heart. Let's go. Stacy. <laughs> Stacy and Janae, I expect more out of you. Supposed to be some Christians. Wow. God is not pleased with you, Janae. Let's go, Tyler. Give it to him again. <laughs> Wonderful birthday, all right. And, and I see Janae. I saw Janae's comments in there saying she wasn't going to donate. That's all right. The haters gonna hate. That's right. The <laughs> haters gonna hate, and we gonna continue to be great. All right. That's yes. how this yeah. works. All and right. everybody that's following Zeus here, tap on my profile and follow me. There you go. There you go. All right. All right, Janae. Follow our good friend Tyler for Dims. All right. All right, Tyler. I appreciate you, champ. All right. Now. We are going to move the show along, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Tyler. <laughs> and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I do got to wrap it up and get out of here. All right. So first of all, I want to make sure we all give our give the folks who deserve it a round of applause. Right. So all of you who came in and participated in this show and helped to make it as engaging as it is. All right. You all deserve a round of applause, especially those of you in the comments. <laughs> all right. You deserve it. To, to my moderators, thank you as always for helping to keep this live safe and fun and educational. I really couldn't do this without you, all right? You know? <laughs> thank you to my the gifters and the subscribers, all right? It doesn't matter what side of the aisle you're on. I appreciate it. Let's go. <laughs> and to my critics and my detractors, ladies and gentlemen, you know what we got for them, including Donald Trump and his his supporters. Let's give him some more booze and shame one last time. All right. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, take care and stay safe out here in these TikTok streets. I will be back tomorrow. Same Zeus time. Same Zeus channel. All right. And one last thing. All right. I haven't said it in a while, but I'm going to say it. Trump supporters, get those knee pads and those elbow pads. Oh, and that helmet ready too. Because Jack Smith and Fonnie Willis, oh, and Letitia James are coming for you. <laughs> True always the most handsome in the kingdom. And I really am the most handsome. <laughs> this is how I move when I'm walking like Zeus. This is how I sound when I'm talking like Zeus. This is how I stare when I'm looking like Zeus. I like to act a fool when I'm moving like Zeus. Bye, ladies and gentlemen. When I'm moving like Zeus. You're thinking that you're cool. I'm a god, call me Zeus. I'm higher than an eagle, I got bread on me too. Took a long time to get here, and I'm feeling brand new. If you living like a bum, get away from me. Hey, you can thank you. I can't leave it up I can hang around with you, you fall in love too quick. You a high risk, mix all in the mix. I put a bounty on your head. This is way above the feds. When you playing with the gods and you playing with the dead. Let's go, Miss Bolivia. Hit us with it. Love you too. I see you. Always. I see you out there. Like a tooth. Playing hating on the gods, boy, you're such a douche. I tried to be patient, but you had to like refuse. I'm catching all these snakes like a mongoose. These ladies love me, yeah, I'm the one that they choose. You know I'm so handsome, that's why they call me. Bye, Janae. This is how I move when I'm walking like Zeus. Behave yourself. Oh, click babe is here, ladies and gentlemen. Click babe. I stare when I'm walking like Zeus. I like to act a fool when I'm moving like Zeus. Don't be playing with my mood when I'm moving like Zeus. You thinking that you're cool till I pull up like Zeus. This is hey. like like Zeus. I make my own rules. I'm a god, call me Zeus. I'm lighter than Hades. Hey, this is it. You want it back? I see you. How are you doing? I've been waiting for this moment. Now I gotta choose. If you play it, oh, oh, yeah, but there's no rules.
I'm not begging, but you are. You've been at 10,000 followers for a while. I'm starting to think that you're inflating your, your, your followers on TikTok, clickbait. You've been at 10,000 for quite a while, and the engagement on your videos doesn't quite match, clickbait. Stop buying followers on TikTok, clickbait. <laughs> I'll see you later. 11,000, Here you go. Right. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the jack. Let's go. Mr. Range. Mr. Jack Range. Let's go! Donald Trump is indicted and they take one charge and they turn it into 36 charges. Marisol, thank you for the subscription. We're almost at 100. Let's see. Uh, clickbait. Clickbait. You said you're you're a multi-millionaire. Clickbait. That's the only reason I asked. But if you can't afford it, just be honest and tell people you don't got it like that. That's perfectly fine. You're more than welcome to continue to come into my live clickbait. But you got to follow the rules, and you know what it is. You need to sit your special behind down and sit and, and listen to this special broadcast. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, Clickbait did let me know he he wants you to call him Clickbait. All right. And so we will be making it a point to refer to Clickbait as Clickbabe. <laughs> Goodbye, Clickbabe. See you tomorrow. And, and maybe you should use the extra money you make to go buy yourself some more followers because you've been at 10,000 for quite a while.